Pero baby, si te... Yo, 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 what's good, our squad? Welcome back to our sneakers. Today, we do have a sneaker review for you guys. It's been a while since I've done one, and today is a special review. I mean, it's not really anything crazy, but it is a special review because it is a special shoe. It is really a hype shoe, which is probably why I guess it's going to be in the first place. Without any further ado, let's get on to it. It is the Yeezy Beluga 2.0, which I do have a desktop pair here, and then I have my pair on my feet right now, which would be up here. But yes, it is this pair right here. It is basically the opposite of one. It's not technically the opposite of the Beluga 1.0, but they just switched it up a little bit. Anyways, going on to the review. The box, obviously, it's pretty simple. It's a regular 350 boost box, nothing too crazy. Got the size tag. Picked them up for retail. These are from Champs. The one on my feet are from Foot Locker. If you do want to buy these, hit me up on my DMs, either Instagram or Twitter, and I will get back to you. If you do give me a good price or if I decide to sell them at that price that you are negotiating at. I'm not really going to get much into the box because you guys pretty much already know what the box looks like. It's not like it's a new shoe. Now, if it was a 700, I think the 700 is even not that much different. It just says 700 on here instead of 350, so it's nothing really too crazy. Anyways, going on to the inside, we do have the shoe itself. This is actually not my first time looking at the shoe because I did post a picture on FSU Craigslist which I had a lot of people offer me but they did lowball me but it's cool you know college kids know. Moving on to the shoe this is a dead stock pair as you guys can see tag is still on it and everything these are authentic if you guys want to try to say they're fake go ahead and just troll my comments because it does rate my video higher but if they're real go ahead and comment real too I mean comment anything you want get my videos up there because I'm getting back in the grind I need my videos to come back up too I'm not going to take out the other shoe because there really is no point it is the same as this shoe just literally the other side anyways getting onto this shoe I am not really going to do much of a comparison in this video so if that's what you're looking for this is not the video to look at i will do that probably some other time this week probably tomorrow or the day after which i will compare it to the beluga 1.0 because there is slight differences in some things which i'm not going to mention because if i do mention them it's pretty much giving the whole video to you guys but i do want to mention in that video so stay tuned for that one anyways you do have a 350 v2 silhouette but it is with the heel tab on it you do have the zebra pattern except it is all in gray the exact color for this shoe are gray bor inch and dgsogr not really too familiar with that color but the main color is gray then you have B orange, which I'm guessing the B orange stands for beluga orange, which it's supposed to be the same orange that were on the beluga 1.0s and the DGSOGR. I don't have a single clue what that's supposed to be. V2s do run half a size small, I would say, and I think these even run a whole size small because I put these on my feet compared to my other V2s. These do fit a little tight. They are still tight on my feet. I might have to take the insole out like I did with my beluga 1.0s. Let me know in the comments below. Did yours fit small? If you guys cop, let me know because these did for me for some reason. On the inside, you do have a quality control tag, which I'm probably gonna take out in a bit. And then they were saying something about the tag on is being slightly different which I'm not exactly too sure. I think the UK was up here before and the HK was down here, which for Hong Kong, the UK is for United Kingdom. SF is like France, I think. And PRC, not really too sure. And then Japan is for JP. I don't know really if there's much of a difference on the tag. It really doesn't even matter unless you're like trying to legit check them. You do have a gray stripe now instead of the orange. And then of course you have the blue orange as the letters and not the stripe. And on the heel tab, you do have the stitching going through the middle as the blue orange. And then you have gray on the rest of the heel tab. I think the last color in the box was the dark gray on here, which I'm pretty sure is the only other color on the shoe. You do have reflective stripes on the heel right above the heel tab and it goes all the way down to the bottom of the shoe right down here and you also do have thick padding like all other 350 v2s have not really much else to say about the upper except the laces are gray and the tips they have nothing crazy going on to them i wish they would have made them with like a zebra pattern or something like that but i'm not really complaining i mean this shoe was pretty widely available so i'm pretty sure they probably weren't gonna put that much detail into the shoe onto the insole you do have a white bottom insole so if you guys ever want to go ahead and legit check them you guys know what color it is on top it's gray and the letters are orange or also known as beluga orange i don't even want to take that off oh, mostly right now that does not look that orange to be honest it looks on camera i think it doesn't look the same either i don't know because it's light in front of me but to me it looks more like of a lighter shade of red usually reds are like darker but this looks like a lighter shade and it just doesn't look orange at all so i don't know why they didn't bother calling it orange on the stitching it does look like an orange but for some reason on the inside lettering right here it does not whatsoever it looks more of a reddish color so i'm just gonna go ahead and go on to the bottom of the shoe which is the midsole the midsole is gray it is a two-part midsole like all other v2s and on the bottom you do have the boost and then you have a bunch of boost windows right on the toe of the shoe for some reason on this shoe they made it have a lot more dots which is gonna be like really hard for this camera to focus but you guys know what i'm talking about usually it's like one two three four five and six seven or something like that this one has like one two three and then like 20 on the bottom for some reason i don't know why and below that you do have like this little heel pad that says boost on there like all 350 v2s or all 350s overall have them and on the toe you do have this little detail that says adidas which i really like i know you don't even see this but it's just like a little 
detail that adds onto the shoe. And that's pretty much it. There's not really much else to say about this shoe. I mainly make these videos to like give you guys a short little review and also mainly to give you guys an on foot shot because I know that's what a lot of people usually go to the videos for. I mean, if you don't have any Yeezys, then you probably go for the reviews. But then if you do have Yeezys and you just want to see how they look with different outfits and different like styles and stuff, then people usually go on the videos for the on feet shots, which is what you guys are going to see at the end of the video. So stay tuned for that. Anyways, guys, that's pretty much it for the review. If you guys did enjoy, make sure to give the video a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe. Like I said, we are trying to get the 20,000 by the end of this month, which does end in literally two, three days. I think today's the 28th. So yeah, two days. Go ahead and subscribe. We do need to hit 20K by the end of this month. It's only like 300 more subscribers. So I know we can do this. All you guys need to do is share these videos, comment, like, and just get this video out there. That's pretty much helps all the time. So leave a comment down below what you guys think about this shoe. If you guys like this colorway, let me know in the comments down below. And up to this point, let me know what's your favorite V2 colorway. Is it the Yeber that dropped this month? Is it this colorway that dropped this month? Or any of the other colorways that you see above here that dropped in the previous months this year and also last year? Anyways, before I go, you know that I gotta give a shout out to the fan of the day. And today's fan of the day does go to Gaming God. Anyways, guys, that's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this on feed shots. I'll see you guys on the next one. Make sure you stay woke. It's your boy, Sneaky signing out.